Yo, what are you saying? It's a boy Mouse Traps, and I'm back again with another video. In today's video, we're not going to be looking at My Strange Addictions. We're going to be looking at another gold nugget dropped by TLC, Extreme Cheat Skits. So yeah, let's get into the video. My brother Justin uses free guest passes with my membership. Free guest passes are for people that actually want to go to the gym to use to go to the gym. I don't go to work out. No. Everyone knows that, so just to get the free stuff. The gym is awesome. Every time I go to the gym, uh, I use the towels, take some clean ones, drop off the dirty ones. I mean, you can't beat it. You got to return them. I don't steal, <laughs> you know. I consider it borrowing for the most part. That's what I would consider it borrowing. I love the way how my guy here is just smiling and saying, I don't steal it, I just borrow it. Um, it's gym property, what, what are you doing? Um, the fact that somebody actually has <laughs> the audacity to go to the gym and store their towels is one thing. Um, I, I don't know why the staff aren't doing anything to stop him. Like, you actually, he's actually using his brother here. Like, RT, you have, if you can bring someone else in for free, but my guy's just coming in to just rub towels. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's a good hustle on him, but that's something else. I use the gym shower when I go in there, I do my laundry, which is also an excellent perk by the gym. This is 100 million times better than a washing machine. It's more effective you get the hands in there. Because the washing machine only gets so much. You yourself can get in there like the old days, you see? <laughs> Perfect. Um, I don't understand my guy here. He's fully. <laughs> Fully having a bath and washing his clothes at the same time in the gym. Like when when I go to, when I go to the gym, when I go to the gym and I see people, you know, having a shower, having a bath in the gym, you know, it kind of kind of puts me on edge a bit, but I don't mind. But if I rocked up into the gym and I saw this man here washing his underwear while he was scrubbing himself, I I would lose my shit. Cause this is something else. Like he's acting like he's homeless, and the fact that his brother looks like he's his brother has a gym membership and previous slide of the video he has a suit i'm pretty sure this guy's not homeless he got hand sanitizer everywhere the hospitals schools anywhere you go i just walk in there and get some free hand sanitizer i'm gonna buy soap for it's ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna lie did you Oh my god, fam, this man over here is that's just preying him still the hand sanitizer. Like, but I, <laughs> oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, like the way how this guy, he's stealing hand sanitizer with no shame. He, he's doing it with his chest really and truly, like, I have to give him props for having the confidence, like, the confidence to, to do something like this right in the open. Like, he's not, he's not even sweating, he's not even checking around him, he's just doing it with his chest. Like, I'm not gonna lie. His brother trying to pick up the slack for him taking the hand sanitizer by him not using it. That's right, that's good on him. But there's a reason why the hand sanitizer is there and it's for hygiene issues. If my guy steals all of the hand sanitizer, what's everyone else gonna clean their hands off before they use the equipment? When I go to the gym, I don't want my equipment to be all still sweaty, you know, I don't want to be touching someone else's sweat. And if I am touching someone else's sweat, I'd wanna clean it off quickly instead of going into the locker room to change going into the locker room to wash my hands to come back out and what what by the time i come back out so else is using that piece of equipment right uh, this uh, this guy is some next kind of the like robin hood time i go to the gym i try to not use the hand sanitizer to make up for him justin takes advantage of his brother's guest pass privileges you know we just have to really honor it so there's nothing really i can do i'm not even gonna lie like did you even see the even pre, at the end, this guy did like a stretch to try to convince the guy in the front that he was actually doing some workout. No, we see what you're doing. We see you're stealing stuff. Hey, honey. Yeah, all right. All right, how you feeling? When Justin first started saving, he only did little things like coupons and looking up sales in the newspaper. He did normal things. Once I started saving money, I wanted to see how deep I can go with saving money. No, I never use a dryer. Too much electricity. Yeah, saving became like a challenge just to see like how much more I could save. Like it just came like a, a addiction, you know. I just love the way how this guy's acting really and truly. Like, um, I see the pain in his mom's eyes. His mom's like, oh, when he started he was normal, you know, using coupons and all of that. Like the way how this guy is chatting, like this guy wants to be the next Pokemon master. How do you say it? I want to take you to the next step. I want it to be a challenge. It can't be a challenge 
robbing stuff from the gym, that's something else. You can't be robbing stuff from the gym and say, yeah, this is the next challenge to prove that I'm going to be the next, you know, extreme cheapskate. Well, at least he's already admitted to the fact that it's kind of like a, an addiction to him, because really and truly, that's <laughs> just, just, it's just crazy. I started looking for a job about a month ago. I would never spend money on a, a on a new suit for a job interview. I got plenty of hand-me-downs down here somewhere. My uncle has suits down here. My brother got suits down here. Somebody, my grandfather probably got one down here somewhere. Justin doesn't want to buy a suit, so he has to wear one of my suits. I'm bigger than him. This is not going to look right. I don't want me to go spend money. The average cost of alterations for a man's suit could probably be anywhere from sixty to a hundred dollars, which is. <laughs> uh, my guy's looking like a big fool. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like just, just buy the damn suit, so when you get the job, you can save more money for your wages. It's not that deep. This guy's trying to be looking like he's wearing a pillowcase with him to work, like a big ass quilt. Um, you need to stop playing games, really, truly. If this is my son, I'm kicking this guy at the house. But how can he? I could be robbing stuff from the gym and coming to sleep. <laughs> sleep at home. What, what's going on? My brother, he thinks he's saving his money by taking everything in the house, locking it away. Then we have to take poker chips and exchange it for goods. We don't waste anything, right? And this is how we keep track of it. It's the perfect way to do it. I can't see no better way. Every month, Justin gives us 45 chips for the month. And so everything that we need, we have to choose wisely. I'm not gonna lie, it's not your house, so you shouldn't really be allowed to do this. If this was my son, as I said before, I'm kicking him out. I'm not gonna lie, if this guy was in prison, he would have the perfect prison hustle right here. He has his own mini store. He's selling stuff there inside the currency, poker chips that you can use on a poker table for gambling. Or he would actually have a decent prison hustle. But this ain't prison, this is the outside world. Why is he treating his relatives? Why is he treating his mum like this? How, how can you be treating your mum like this? How can you be forcing your mum to come down and to be paying for shit in her own house? What type of rubbish? So those 45 chips are gone, they're gone. One particular month, I needed Q-tips and he would not give them to me because I didn't have enough chips left. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I feel for the mum right here. Like, imagine giving birth to a baby, nurturing the baby, feeding the baby, teaching them what's right and what is wrong. For him to turn around and say you don't have enough chips for a Q-tip. <laughs> Not only are the household goods on lockdown, the water's on lockdown also. Okay, if I was in this house, and let's say I was abiding by the rule of every good in the house needs to be substituted for a chip in order to, you know, to use it. I'm not going to let my water source be cut off. Am I a fool? What, man, what if you're trying to wash plates? How are you going to be washing plates if this guy cut off the water? Man, this guy's just playing games out here, really and truly. The other day I come fill up the water bottle at the nearby park, fill up the water we use for the house. I mean, we pay city taxes, so why not get water from the city park? You know, I mean, <laughs> what more sense does it make? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is some next level bullshit here. Like, I understand, yeah, you pay taxes, you can use the water in the city toilet there, but what's. <laughs> but you don't know what contamination that water must have been through. Even if the water is clean, would you even risk it? I'd rather have the water in your own house that you would use, that you would actually boil, you would filter, then you would do some rubbish like this. But to each their own, if you want to be drinking water from a local park, you can do that. At the end of the day, when you're dead, there ain't no coming back. We don't use that. This wastes way too much money. This is the most effective way to do this right here. Mm -hmm. Got the soapy water, you got your rinsey water. Justin's bottled water system is a joke. Justin has made uh, bottles of water and put a little sanitizer in the water bottles. It really feels like he's trying to punish his brother and his mom right here. How are you going to be putting the hand sanitizer rubbish you stole from the gym into the water bottle, then shake it around and be like, yo, this is what you're gonna be using to wash. The other water's gonna, there's not been enough water in there, really and truly. Like, isn't there's, there's not enough water in there. It's actually, it's like he's trying to run a prison of his own. Like, he needs to get locked up for this, really and truly. He needs to get locked up for this type of rubbish. As far as the whole water system goes, my mom is totally against, she does not take it. Because I have refused to use this water method of Justin's, he's allowed me to take a bath. This red tape line that he's put in here, I have to use only use that amount of water. Literally, it's just not enough in here to take a bath. I'm not gonna lie, he's actually torturing his mother here. 
like he's tortured his family members here like i'm pretty sure if the father was here he would have run off because of the saving tactic like this this is some nasty kind of level bull, bullshit there like that that's that would uh, even for his mum is not even enough for her to even bathe properly but like you're gonna enter the bath stinking and leave the bath stinking too you didn't accomplish anything congratulations you played yourself I think Justin would stop being cheap when he finds a good job. Or if he doesn't stop being cheap, hopefully he would just move out. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, um, the mother right there, she it may it may seem like she's joking. She's not joking. She's not joking in this like she you can see the pain in her eyes. She wants this kid to move out. And if this was my son, I would have thrown him out the second he started with this rubbish. You can't be bring this shit to my house and think I will I will I'll live with it. Like maybe he has some sort of problem, maybe he doesn't. I don't know. But well well that's it. If you like this video, make sure you like and you comment down below telling me what I did right, telling me what I did wrong, and I'll try to change it in the next video. If this is the first time you'll see my ugly mug on your screen, make sure you like and you subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I post. And I'll see you in the next video. In a bit. She got me gone psycho. She got me gone.